The Apache trout was one of the first species listed under the Endangered Species Act. I'm really proud and delighted to announce to you today that the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is proposing through the Federal Register to delist the Apache trout due to its recovery. It's the first native trout and the first fish species of the Southwest to be proposed for delisting. Other trout have been delisted, but that was because they were already extinct. Our state fish, you know, native only to here in the White Mountains, and it's so exciting. This area over here considered very sacred to our people here. Water, a lot, a lot of the water originates from here. We come out here to witness a very important resource that we have here, Apache trout. Welcome to our Fort Apache Indian Reservation of the White Mountain Apache. Ford Creek originates up there at about 10,500 feet and is home to one of 17 relic populations of Apache trout, one of the densest Apache trout populations on earth. Being on Ord Creek was really special. You know, the Endangered Species Act has been around 50 years and this species was listed before that and the White Mountain Apache tribe started to protect the species in the 50s. So, you know, we're over 70 years working to recover the species. Apache trout conservation started in 1955 when the White Mountain Apache tribe closed many of its streams to angling. We've got all these partners that we work with and, you know, all get together and I think, from, you know, with that, we kept moving forward and that's what made us uh, get where we're at. Apache trout from Ord Creek uh, were used to establish replicate populations back in the 60s. A gabion barrier was constructed in 1977, and Ord Creek was chemically treated to remove brook trout. Non-native trout are a major threat. Removing them from Apache trout recovery streams and building barriers to keep them out are key conservation strategies. The service and our partners who are here today have been able to achieve the recovery plan's delisting criteria of 30 self-sustaining, genetically pure Apache trout populations in Arizona. Of course, our work's not done, um, not by a long shot. Apache Trout Recovery Partners consider the Apache trout to be a conservation-reliant species, which means that we know that they'll require some level of management, even after recovery goals for self-sustaining populations are met. This same partnership transfers Apache trout eggs to the Arizona game and fish hatcheries each year, which enables the Arizona game and fish to provide thousands of Arizona's anglers an opportunity to catch this uniquely Arizona species. Today's proposed delisting announcement is the beginning of a process to remove the species from the Endangered Species Act. Over the next 60 days, the public will comment and review the proposal, and we expect to have a final determination in the next 12 months. It's a huge accomplishment, and we're very, very happy and proud. Thanks to the visionary and determined conservation actions led by the White Mountain Apache Tribe, the Arizona Game and Fish Department, USDA Forest Service, Trout Unlimited, and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the Apache trout has a promising future in Arizona's streams and rivers.